Chapter 14 Now King Hiram of Tyre sent messages to David, along with stonemasons and carpenters, to build him a palace. Hiram also sent many cedar logs for lumber. And David realized that the Lord had made him king over Israel, and had made his kingdom very great for the sake of his people Israel. Then David married more wives in Jerusalem, and they had many sons and daughters. These are the names of David's sons who were born in Jerusalem, Shimea, Shobab, Nathan, Solomon, Ibhar, Elishua, Elpelet, Noga, Nepheg, Japhiah, Elishama, Eliada, and Eliphelet. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over all Israel, they mobilized all their forces to capture him. But David was told they were coming, so he and his men marched out to meet them. The Philistines had arrived in the valley of Rephaim and raided it, so David asked God, Should I go out to fight the Philistines? Will you hand them over to me? The Lord replied, Yes, go ahead. I will give you the victory. So David and his troops went to Baal Perazim and defeated the Philistines there. God has done it! David exclaimed. He used me to burst through my enemies like a raging flood. So that place was named Baal Perazim, which means the Lord who bursts through. The Philistines had abandoned their idols there, so David gave orders to burn them up. But after a while the Philistines returned and raided the valley again, and once again David asked God what to do. Do not attack them straight on, God replied. Instead, circle around behind them and attack them near the balsam trees. When you hear a sound like marching feet in the tops of the balsam trees, attack. That will be the signal that God is moving ahead of you to strike down the Philistines. So David did what God commanded, and he struck down the Philistine army all the way from Gibeon to Gezer. So David's fame spread everywhere, and the Lord caused all the nations to fear David.